Hi, and welcome to Fanshawe College's virtual open house. My name is Janine Shire, and I work in the reputation and brand management department at Fanshawe, and I will be your host for today's session. I'm joined by Greg Arnold, who will be taking uh, you through a presentation about college degrees and educational pathways at Fanshawe College. Before we begin today's session, I would like to review a few housekeeping items. Audience, webcams and mics are turned off for this session, so don't worry, we can't see you or hear you. If you have any questions throughout the session, it's super easy to send them in by using the questions feature. To access the questions feature, just click on the question mark and type away. I will gather all of your submitted questions during the presentation for the Q&A portion at the end of the session. We will try our best to get through all of your submitted questions within the session time. If you're looking for more after the session, we will provide you with contact information and how to book an appointment with one of our Fanshawe College recruiters. Lastly, if you happen to have multiple programs opening and running on your device, it might compromise your webinar experience. We recommend you take a moment now to close any programs before we begin. Now, once again, I'd now like to introduce Greg Arnold, who will be talking to you about college degrees and educational pathways at Fanshawe College. I will be back again for the live Q&A. Take it away, Greg. Thank you, Janine. So welcome, everybody. Uh, as Janine said, we'll be talking about college degrees and degree pathways today. And she also mentioned you'll be hanging out with me. That's my name, Greg. Um, now, if you guys look down in the handout box, it's part of your control panel there. You'll see a little PDF. It's something that I put together. It has everything that you need in a, a live link. So if you want to find any of this information, if you want to contact me, it's a good thing. Just grab that handout. But at the end of the presentation, I will put up some contact info if you want to screen grab as well. Okay. So as I mentioned, back in the day when I was kind of growing up, you know, the 90s, maybe the early 2000s, it was kind of a different landscape. And you really kind of had to think, am I going to college or am I going to university? We didn't really play well together. We didn't argue, but certainly we didn't have the opportunities where we're interconnected today. And basically that was a, a thing that kind of, you know, created some sort of problems as we moved into the 2000s. And that's really about the time that you guys started to see degrees in college. And it was really in 2003. So what kind of happened, and I'm sure everybody here today uh, knew that once we got into the 2000s, you saw technology really sort of, you know, take over the, the labor market and started changing jobs and how jobs began to evolve. And at that time, the Ministry of Education and the labor industry, so all those employers out there, started to kind of have conversations and say, well, how do we fix this problem where... We want these, you know, these potential applicants for our jobs that have great theoretical knowledge, the stuff that you would get in university. But they also said, the way this new job market's evolving, we also need more folks that have that hands-on training, those, those applied skills that you take from the classroom into the workplace. So, so it was really around 2003 that you started seeing degrees pop up in college and you started seeing what we'll talk about in a few minutes, degree pathways. So when you think about a degree in college, it really has to come with a lot of ingredients. It's not going to be the same thing as what you get in a university, uh, but there's a lot of things that kind of wrap up what we put together as a degree program in a college. And the first and foremost thing you have to think about is that they're always going to be career focused, and that's partially because they're driven by those labor markets. So, so that means that we're creating a degree program that's specifically related to a career pathway. The other thing you have to think about is that they're always going to come with an experiential learning opportunity. Uh, so that could be in a co-op placement, that could be field experience, that could be research projects. There's just a whole host of things, but it's all about making sure that we allow you guys to experience that career and that by the time you leave the program, you're going to have those skills in place to be able to take into that job market and have that experience behind you. The other thing is they're small class sizes. So a lot of the times when you think about a traditional university program, you might think about being at a, a lecture hall with two, three hundred people, uh, and that certainly isn't the case when you come into a college. You might have the odd class here and there that will have a number of students together from various programs because it's a common course, but when you're thinking about the core curriculum, you know, getting involved with your labs and stuff, they're always going to be smaller class sizes. 
usually in the range of about 30 students. And even when you're looking at your lab-driven training, it might get down to 15-ish students. So, so it's all about making sure you have those connections with your professors and, you know, that, that opportunity to kind of really engage with your fellow students. So, and when we think about professors, they're also experienced. Uh, so when you think about a professor in the college system, traditionally they came from the career. So they spent many years kind of applying their trade and then they come in to, you know, pass that knowledge on to you guys as learners. But they're very experienced and they have the background academic credentials as well. It's part of the process. They have to have those master's level or PhD level training. Uh, so they're not only experienced, they do have the academics. And most importantly, and this is a question that we get asked about a lot, is, is there future study options? And the answer is yes. Every degree program that we have has some form of opportunity to continue, whether that's a master's level, whether that's a graduate program, uh, whether that's going into a different degree that would actually, you know, complement it in the future. Okay, so that's kind of degrees. But there's this whole other thing that happens in the background, and I really think this is what turns the degrees or the degree pathways in college into a little bit of a superpower for you guys. And we call them pathways. So it can seem confusing when you guys are thinking about degrees and then you hear about degree pathways and how do they all work together. And, and it's kind of a big system, but this system kind of creates opportunity for you guys. And I'm going to kind of explain those opportunities in a minute. But when you guys are coming out of high school, or maybe there's some adult learners that are looking to come back and take a degree, typically the courses that you took in high school are gonna be important. So when you guys are thinking about college level courses, those are gonna open up apprenticeships, one year certificates, two year diplomas. When we move up to those advanced diplomas that are three years in length, they're going to accept college credits. They'll also accept university credits for some of the more advanced ones, maybe in health science. And then eventually when you move up to the bachelor degrees or the collaborative degrees that we offer within the college, you do still have to get those academic or the U and M level credits. So it's not going to be any different than if you were applying to Western or McMaster. You still have to have those six university or M level credits completed. And specifically, will always be the absolute, you know, defined requirements. So you might need an English, a math, or a science, and, and that's always available on our webpage. Um, and then when you think about the next steps, you are gonna have pathways to graduate certificates or master's programs, other degree pathways. So that's kind of the tree of how your, your credits in the past and, you know, today will work in terms of getting you into programs. Now, when we think about pathways, one of the, the great benefits that I kind of see with them is that they open up so many doorways for you guys, but it's not just about that one benefit. There is a bunch of benefits. So one thing I always tell students is sometimes when you're thinking about your degree pathways, they may not always align with what you guys are thinking about for future job opportunities. So one of the great things about a pathway is you can start in a certificate or a diploma and then pathway into a degree later. So you can get some skills, get working, and then think about your next steps in the future. Another thing is that they will always provide pathways to master's level programs. So uh, there's some misconceptions out there that if you take a degree in college, it won't qualify for a master's. The answer is that they are all honors degrees that we offer within the college system, which means that they will qualify for a master's pathway. Another cool thing about pathways is they can allow you to supplement your skill that you got in your first credential with a new skill. So the idea that maybe I took, you know, an art like interior design degree, for example, and I want to open an interior design business one day. Well, I could open a pathway into a, a master's or a graduate level program and maybe get some business training on top of that so that now not only do I have the skills to run an interior design business, but I also have the skills to actually run that business. So, so that's always a good opportunity. And the most important thing is they can save you guys a lot of money. So the idea that when you're looking at your tuition, degree tuition and college tuition is significantly different. So when you're thinking about a pathway, if you can start in a diploma and finish out a diploma for three years ahead of time before you transfer into a degree, you can usually save yourself a lot of money, upwards of $10,000 or more. So, so that's a good chunk of change to think about your next steps when you're looking at education. 
And finally, another thing is they do allow you guys to go global. So, so not only do we have degree pathways right here within Ontario to all the great institutions that we have across the Ontario University system, we have a lot of great pathways to institutions all over the world, as far away as Australia, as close as you know the UK or even institutions down in the States. So, so there's lots of pathways if you want to take your you know your skills to another country and see how you know things are done there it's always a good opportunity to use an educational pathway for that now when you're looking at pathways i'm going to kind of give you guys a few examples that happen within fanshawe and kind of how they work so so when you're looking at our diplomas we'll have four diplomas in our contemporary media school we're going to have interactive media design there'll be a broadcast television and film production a broadcast radio and a journalism broadcast diploma and they're all two-year diplomas but we have this great articulation and articulation is really just a fancy word for a university agreement so we've we've gone out to western university and we've made an agreement that if our students are completing these diplomas in contemporary media what pathway do they have into your university and with western we'll have an alignment where you can do a two and a two so two years in a diploma and then you can go over to Western for two more years and complete a degree in their media information and technoculture degree. So it's a good opportunity to get hands-on skills and then get that theoretical knowledge. And then you can go on, get out working and complete your master's 100% part-time online later in the future. So again, you're always having those doorways open in front of you. Another good example, and this is more of an internal pathway. So the last example was start at Fanshawe, move to a new institution. But we have a lot of pathways into our own degrees. Pretty much every degree that we offer exclusively at Fanshawe will have a diploma program that will connect to it. There's only one example that doesn't, that will be interior design, but the other programs do. So you could start in a GIS and urban planning or our landscape design diplomas, and they will both bridge into our environmental design and planning degree. And when I think about that particular degree, it's a really great example of how I mentioned earlier that when you develop degrees in the college system, they have to be very labor market focused. Not only that, they are also catering to what we call emerging job markets. So things where we've identified in the future, you know, something that's going to be required for the betterment of society or whatever that is. But these are programs that really, really cater to how industry is changing. And environmental design is a great example because it talks about urban planning and GIS, but it goes into environmental sustainability, a little bit of building and architectural technology. So it kind of wraps a lot of great knowledge into one great program. And then you have the opportunity to complete a master's after if you wanted to get into project management. It never hurts to have those skills when you're working you know, in an industry like urban planning and urban design and stuff. So always great opportunities there. And then if we look further, the business school at Fanshawe was one of the originators of Pathways, and they're still the number one provider of Pathways at Fanshawe. They have lots of great programs that are connected with each other, also connected to their degree programs, and as well as other institutions, whether that's Western or you know places all over the world. But when you're looking at our degrees, we'll have Bachelor of Commerce degrees in HR, management, marketing, uh, and accounting. And all of them will have two and three year diplomas that will bridge your way up to it. So if you started in a two year diploma and you were like, oh, I just want to kind of see if marketing is for me, if it's something I really enjoy. And you find out that, yes, it's, it's a great thing. I'm really in, you know, empowered and passionate about it. You can continue into the third year of our administration diploma. And then again, if you just keep hitting those GPA targets along the way, you can always keep going further. And then when you're done those degrees, as I mentioned, we are connected with great institutions, including Western's Business Ivy School. So if you wanted to go get your MBA, that is a doorway that's open as a pathway out of our LKSB uh, commerce degrees. So lots of great opportunities there as well. Now, these are the listing of the degrees that we would offer exclusively at Fanshawe. So if you took one of these degree programs, you're going to be a Fanshawe student for four years. So we'll have our Bachelor of Commerce, as I mentioned, but we also have an Applied Technology and Biotechnology degree. We'll have a degree in Early Childhood Leadership, so that's a good continuation if you were looking at early childhood education. 
because that program will pathway into the leadership degree. And it's also a great pathway if you wanted to become a teacher one day because you can go into teacher's college after, and then you can even take your AQ tests and then build up to a high school level. So it always, again, keeps those doorways open as you go. I mentioned the environmental design and I've mentioned the interior design degrees, so great options there. But we also partner with Western for a few degrees. We call them collaborative degrees. Uh, the most popular one that you know you guys have out there is always registered nursing. We call it collaborative nursing. Uh, and that's where you would do two years with Fanshawe and then you would do two years at Western. It's the exact same degree as if you did all four years at Western or a university. So you're still getting that honors degree, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. You also have an opportunity to take a finance and wealth management collaborative program. And that's essentially where you would do our two-year finance diploma. And then you would go over to King's College at Western and complete their wealth management courses to get your undergrad there. And then we have a great five-year degree. So it's not a four-year, it's a five-year degree with Western. Uh, and it's called Music Recording Arts. And that's where you would take our Music Industry Arts program first. It's a two-year diploma. And we focus more on the production or the the sound recording, sound engineering, and then you would go over to Western for three more years and you'd get more into the, the theory and you know the, the science of music and properly writing music and stuff like that. So they're taking more the theoretical approach to the training. So overall, those are the, the pathways and, and the degrees we offer, but certainly a great resource for you guys out there is always to go to ontransfer.ca. It's it's run by the Ontario government, it's part of the Ontario College system, but it's where we will house all the pathways across Ontario. So all the things, if you wanted to start in college and get to a university, they'll all be listed right there. So it's a great resource in that respect. And with that, that kind of brings us to a close. So Janine's gonna pop back in here and we can do some Q&A. But as I said, I did provide a handout there. I encourage you guys to download that, just so you have it in your back pocket for the future. Uh, but that is my contact info as well. And if you guys wanted to book one-on-one -on -one appointments with me in the future, you'll see me right there, fanshawc.ca slash greg. And if you want to get connected with the college as a whole, you just have to go to fanshawc.ca slash connect. All right. So, Janine? Awesome. Thank you, Greg. That was a great overview of college degrees and educational pathways. And we have a few questions. Um, just as a friendly reminder, if you want to ask a question, please submit it in the questions feature. And to open the questions feature, click on the question mark. We have a number of questions in the, uh, in the queue already, and we'll try to do our best to get through them. If you have any questions after the session, as Greg mentioned, and as you can see on the screen, you can connect with him directly or go to myfuture at fanshawc.ca to email or book an appointment with um, one, of your, one of the Fanshawe College recruiters. Greg, do you mind closing the screen there for me or yeah. your screen sharing? Sorry, just have to bring up the control panel again here. All right. Perfect, there we go. We go. Okay, let's start with our first question. Can culinary management be transferred to a degree? Um, I do not believe that we have. Uh, just let me pull that up for you folks. Um, the answer simply, and, and this is something that, you know, we get kind of confusion about. When you think about articulations, those are always the programs that we've gone out and developed those relationships. But the truth is, is if you take an Ontario College diploma, and a, at least a two-year or a three-year diploma, you can always use that as credit to another university within Ontario. There's always going to be um, you know, it's it's their prerogative, their decision on their end, what they will give you credit for. But certainly, you can always take your diploma and apply that as credit to a university. Um, unfortunately, at this time, when you're looking at programs that would be under hospitality, specifically like culinary, uh, typically your next steps in culinary might be to look at a graduate program, uh, particularly in things like culinary arts or, uh, sorry, artisanal culinary arts. Uh, or there's other great programs out there if you wanted to learn how to cook using things like wine and beer and stuff. Um, and there's other great pathways, but typically if you're looking at a pathway out of culinary into university, you're probably going to be looking at something that would be business oriented. Um, you just don't see a lot of culinary programs in a university. Perfect. Thank you, Greg. 
Another question we have here is, um, are college degrees easier than university degrees? The answer is no. Um, I think there's always a misconception, is college easier than university or college degrees? And it's really just different. Um, some people learn differently than others, so sometimes university might be easier than college and college might be easier than university. The college approach is always a combination of applied training, so living in a lab, going out into the working world, applying those skills with your hands, but it also employs that theoretical component as well. The truth is you're still going to have to write some papers, you're still going to have to do some research, there's still going to be math and science, so it is tough. Um, the good thing is when you're thinking, is a program tough in college or is a program tough in an institution in general, always, always, always look for the help supports, okay? When you're thinking about Fanshawe, we have an entire ecosystem of people that are there to provide support for you. So whether that's a peer tutor or a peer note taker, uh, seeing your student success advisor, getting involved with study groups, use those things to your advantage and even if you're staying in residence they run their own groups and you know uh, activities to help you guys get better at studying and, and working with each other so there's always something there to help you guys great thank you greg uh the next question i have here is do college degrees include co-op opportunities yes um, every degree that we have will have a practicum or some sort of experiential component. Not all of them will have co-ops. There's only a couple programs. It will be the nursing program. You have a, you have a placement, like a, a placement within the program that's not paid, but you do get to go out and work in a hospital environment. Um, but otherwise, and the wealth management one will also have some sort of placement and opportunity to have experience beyond the classroom. The other degrees that we offer will have those paid co-ops. So um, that's gonna, a co-op is typically where you're gonna be gone for four months at a time, um, just working, getting paid. And the good thing when you think about a co-op in the college system is you're not gonna be a glorified coffee runner. You're not gonna be doing the lackey work. You're actually gonna be doing what you're learning in the classroom. It's important, it's part of how we build those co-ops to make sure that when you're out on that co-op there is outcomes that you have to achieve in order to qualify that co-op so so it's important to remember that when you're thinking about your opportunities awesome thanks greg got another question that came in from a student can i apply for an mba in a university outside of canada uk specifically absolutely um, when you have an honors degree, it's important when you're taking your degrees. If it has that word honors in front of it, it will qualify as a master's pathway. Now, our business degrees, we do have some alignments to do our MBAs here within Ontario. I mentioned the Ivy Business School at Western. We're connected with them for an MBA pathway. But even if I said, like I said earlier, even if we don't have those articulations or those agreements in place, it doesn't mean that you can't pursue those on your own. It just means that you have to take the responsibility. It's just a little bit more work on your end. Um, but with that said, we have certainly out of our business program, they have lots of relationships all over the world. Uh, they do a great job of sending people out consistently to build opportunities for you guys. So even if you started in a program today, by the time you graduate that in four years, you're going to have way more degree opportunities, master's pathways than you did today because they're building them every single, every, it seems like every single month there's new opportunities popping up. Great. Thank you, Greg. Another question here. Do employers look at college degrees differently than university degrees? That one's a little bit of a gray area. Now, I'm certainly never going to tell you that an employer is not going to be, you know, excited if you come in with a Harvard education or, you know, a University of Toronto. But the truth is most employers are not going to look at you that way. Most employers will actually prefer that you have that applied experience because in today's job market, you need to have skills in the workplace and that's important. So if you want to answer the question from a different perspective, the power of a college degree is aligning you with the job market. So by the time you leave us, you've already had, you know, 8, 12, 16 months experience working within that industry, which is the most empowering thing for you guys getting employment in the future. Great. Thank you. Uh, another question here. Is there anywhere we can get information on the articulations Fanshawe College has specifically? Yep. 
all you guys got to do is go to www.fanshawc.ca slash pathways. I think Janine might throw that down in the chat box for you guys right now. Um, if you go to that website, it's part of Fanshawe's, that will kind of break down the agreements we have at Fanshawe. Um, you can see the internal pathways as well as pathways beyond Fanshawe. But also, like I said, if you go to oncat.ca, that will give you the pathways for all colleges. So uh, just make sure you go out there and check it out. And usually a good resource is to kind of, you know, ask your professors when you're in that program or, you know, join the open houses. Uh, you know, I know you guys maybe missed some of the sessions, but when you're meeting or you're sending these questions, it's always a good question to ask, what is my future uh, opportunities? What are those pathways for your program? Excellent. Thanks, There's Greg. Thousands of them, so it's really hard to kind of define them now, but yes. Yeah, and program coordinators are very helpful with that too, aren't they? Yes, absolutely. Because sometimes, you know, the pathways maybe aren't registered on our website yet, or, you know, they're in the process of building that relationship so they can kind of inform you of what's on the horizon as well. Awesome. Thanks. So we have no more questions in the queue. I'll just give a couple of seconds here if anyone has some last minute ones that they want Greg to answer. And if not, okay, nothing coming through, perfect. So we've now reached the end of our session today. Thank you to all who attended and submitted questions. We hope that we answered all of your questions about college degrees and educational pathways. If you happen to think of any more, please connect with your with our Fanshawe College recruitment team by email at myfuture@fanshawec.ca or by booking a one-on-one -on -one appointment with them at fanshawec.ca/connect. And Greg provided the handout in the PDF section of GoToWebinar that you can also download to get in touch with him directly. Thanks again, Greg, for your time, and I hope we connect sure. with everyone again soon. Enjoy the rest of Fanshawe's virtual open house. Take care, everybody. Good day, folks. Bye.